fair enough. October Red Boxing here with um, Dillian White. Dillian, thank you so much. I know you're tired. I know you've been talked out. I know you've just done 12 hard rounds. Do better than your back. We won't get into that on camera, yeah. but it's a bit sore. Yeah. And it's nothing to do with you. <laughs> I don't know. You've been getting gym all the time, isn't it? So. Hard work. And that is something that you know about. I just want you to break down this fight. I know we spoke about a couple of things that I want to touch on. Um, but what I will do, I'll start it on saying that I thought that you was going to come out quicker um, than you did. So just talk to us about why you didn't. You know, I wanted to come out quick and aggressive. But coach said, listen, press round, be easy. Don't, he said, you don't need to run into these young motherfuckers. Break him down slowly, apply the press slowly and chop him down says when he can. And obviously, you know, it's a lot of pressures mentally and physically as well coming off a, you know, a, a career defining defeat, you know. And then obviously, cause my team is, my team loved me. They're all about my health. So they was like, listen, you know, like you lose again, then you got to, so, you know, we had to approach it differently. And the pressure, immense, the pressure is immense, man. You know, obviously a five in my career, you know, it's madness. When you hear your team, like you said, your team care a lot about you. Here we go. The for reading. Are, are we going to be serious or is it just yeah, going to be pure serious. shit? <laughs> go on. You said your team care about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you hear them say, look, you can't afford to have any more losses. Mm -hmm. You talk about pressure. How does that make you feel? It, <laughs> it's madness, man. You know, it's... Um, this is what I do. I love fighting and I enjoy fighting and I want to fight. I want to have some big fights. I want to fight the best. So when they're telling you, and my guys are serious. They don't care about me making money and they're making the percent. They're just in it for me. You understand? So if I lose, then they'll be like, they'll be like, <laughs> shut up, man. They, if I lose, then they'll, they'll, 100% they'll say to leave it. 100%. There's no doubt about it. They'll be like, it's done. And I've always said to them, whenever it's time, you guys be honest with me and tell me. And it's crazy, man. Well, how important is it to have people around you like that, that you can rely on, to be honest, and that not, not just hanging on to you for a paycheck or hanging on to you because, you know, they just want to be around you because of your status. They're there because they actually care. It's great to have these people around. These people used to help me. When I was coming up and I couldn't pay for opponents, these guys... You know, you had to sell tickets. I never, I never win no ABAs, no Olympic, none of that. So you had to sell certain more tickets. These guys, I'll be like, how much tickets you done? And I'll be like, ah, oh, I'm like 800 quid short. And they'll be like, oh, here's 800 quid. Go focus on the fight. And they've been with me for a long time, been supporting me. And they mean the world to me. They fought for years, some of the BC. When I gave up, they didn't give up. You know what I mean? These guys, it's great. And they, they're honest. They, they will tell you, listen. That's, they're the one that, that prompt the change in the first place. They said, no, 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 you need to change something. You can't be two, uh, uh, two and one in, in three. It doesn't make sense. Something is not right, you know? And that two and one in three, I get it. But like you said, you, you know, we touched on that. You made the decision to say, I've got to do what's right for yes. me. It's about my career. Yes. Yeah. So we come into this fight. Uh, you've gone with Buddy McGirt. And like I said to you, your footwork has improved so much. That was always one of my bog, uh, bog bears about you. I used to say, I, I like the way Dillian fights, but I hate his feet. I know hate's a strong word, but I really yeah, hate so. your feet. So the improvements that you've done for the footwork then? Yeah, six weeks. You know, we, We've done a lot in six weeks, but, but like you said, I understand. You know, you're someone that obviously genuinely care about me as well, you know, so I appreciate it. You, you, Sometimes. Yeah, well, you're, you're always honest, you know, you say what you think, and that's what I like, you know, people like that, i got time for, so thank you as well for being caring as well and looking out for me. I'm not used to being nice, it's almost like you're taking a piss, you're sitting there with my glasses on, and you're talking about me caring. These, I've changed my real, I can see, I can see out of space with these. They're not a bad prescription, they're just for reading. <sighs> I just saw two ants shagging over there. Right, you're taking, I'm not going to swear, I'm going to be on my best behaviour. So anyway, you got the win. Online, they're saying, yeah, it was close. They're saying that you won, but they're saying it was closer than it was. But why are they always getting on to me, though? How much closer has they been in boxing? 
Why does everyone, or it's almost close to the been in boxing? I think there's certain fighters. Well, you have to think, you're a UK fighter. So the microscope's going to be on the UK fights. The heavyweight <coughs> division gets the, gets the most scrutiny. I'd say, Listen. well, with, with certain fighters, put it that way. I went into the fight, a few issues here and there, but, you know, obviously, I wasn't 100% fit, but it's boxing. Got the job done. And that's it. I never complain. I cry about this. I cry about that. You know. People just need to shut the fuck up. Enjoy the fighters that's around. Enjoy the time that they're around. Because when we go, who else is there? When me, Joshua Fury, Wilder, Ruiz go. No, it's not Ruiz because it's not really. When me, Wilder, Fury, and Joshua go, who else is there? What about the ones that are up and coming? They up, and, but no one really. Okay, Fabio, Fabio stands up. Fabio and Babi stands up because they're exciting. And they got charisma and they give good interviews and they speak. These other guys, George Ice is an amazing fighter. But it's boring as fuck. Then they go, a good fighter, but boring as fuck. You know, because I spoke to Joel Joyce, he's not actually boring, you know. He's, he's just, he just shy. He just S-A-L-O, slow. He ain't slow. <laughs> You know what, I'd like, I wouldn't mind seeing you fight him. Eh? I wouldn't mind seeing you fight him, actually. I'll fight anyone. I'll fight anyone, I don't care. I'll fight anyone. Even you, I'm going to just give you two thumps in your ribs. Just, <laughs> just make you sit down and, and hold your belly. So how much would I get paid for that? It depends. <laughs> 20 quid? Just give him back, give him back my glasses. Right. Yeah, before I stamp on your bad arm. What have you done to your arm because you're holding it like you've hurt it? <laughs> Nothing. I was, I'm going to say too much masturbating in camp. No, no, I'm joking. No, this is all bicep injury again in the fight. But these things happen, man. It's no... I don't, listen, I don't... I fought a broken rib, broken hand, broken shoulder. I, I just get on. People don't understand. I just get in there, do my thing. I don't care. So finally then, before I get dragged out of here by my hair, people already telling me to hurry up. What is next for you? I don't know. Well, you want to see me fight next? <laughs> to be fair, well, they're talking about the Anthony Joshua mm. fight. I get that. But I think I'd like to see you go up against Joel Joyce. I know it's something that came up years ago and it kind of died, died to death. There's nothing in Joel Joyce fight for me, though. There's nothing in it for me. There is for us viewers. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying when you look at like the belts, etc., etc. But Anthony Joshua hasn't got any belts either. I'm just talking he, about he's still a what. Star and he's still more accomplished than Joe Joyce. And he's got a win over me and I got a win over him. And me and Joe Joyce ain't going to sell out in our stadium. You want to see me and Joe Joyce and me and Anthony Joshua. Be real. If the two fights got made, why shouldn't they come to you? I'd come to both of them, but I like boxing now. Yeah, you wouldn't come to both of them. If they're on the same day, you're going to go to me and Joshua. You're not going to go to me and Joyce. Hypothetically speaking. Well, well, hypothetically speaking, you can't be in two places at once, can you? You can build a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Dillian, listen. Who do you want to see Dillian White fight next? I'm saying I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Joel Joyce. He's more concerned about oh, going back. He brought about fighting. In, in the, in the this... I'm trying to be serious here. Prescription, man. So you're saying my Hugo Boss glasses are from the pound shop? They're fraud. They're not Hugo Boss, they're fraud. You know what, Dillian? You know you what? That's some African done. You know what? Go fuck yourself. I've had enough of you today. Congratulations. Respect, thank you. Nice seeing you. Well done. Thank you. Thank Rick. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.